So, Travis, welcome. Good to Thank see you. you. <laughs> Likewise. So, tell us a little bit about yourself, Travis, and who are you, and you know, even something unusual about yourself that will uh, will help us uh, get a sense of who you are. Uh, yeah. So, I'm a I'm a 36 year old single guy, recently engaged. Mm. Um, I have two young children. I have a six and a three year old. Mm -hmm. um, Recovering alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if that's relevant. Probably not. Um, but I've I've got some baggage that I've carried with me for years. Uh, some emotional baggage. Um, I although I used to sleep with a lot of women when I was drinking and partying, I'd never really had a, a good sexual relationship. I was always incredibly insecure in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. um, Always felt like I I came too fast. That I you know I was uh, very fearful of my performance with other women, mm -hmm. and because of it, I just I never enjoyed it. Mm, never know, enjoyed I, sex. Never enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. You know, I I any time I hooked up, I was you know intoxicated. Mm -hmm. and never really had a. a good sexual experience, if you will, mm. you know, and it didn't help that I was very fearful and worried about my performance. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got to a point where we, we weren't sleeping together. Uh -huh. and neither of us wanted, and, and she, you know, a couple of times telling me that I was just, it wasn't fun for her. It was, I was not a great lover, if you will. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you make, you know, you think I was unmotivated to, to pursue her then, well, after that, even more so. And, and yeah. so towards our end of our relationship, there was zero uh, connection, zero mm -hmm. intimacy. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I reached out to you, <laughs> uh, there was this really attractive girl that was across the street from me. You know, I'm right. going into single living, and uh, she basically asked me out, you know, and <laughs> I was way in my head right after she asked me. She just wanted to go grab a drink or a coffee. Uh -huh. You know, not only am I divorced, but it's the first time I'm dating when I'm sober. So, gosh, I'm in my head. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I the last time I've had sex was, you know, probably a year. A year, before. yeah, um, right. And it wasn't anything to you know write home about. Yeah. And I need to get in some sort of program. Right. Right. Cool. Well, then you um, had a first date or you started doing some of the practices where uh, you know, you're know you learning to move the energy through your body and we're talking yeah. about it. Yeah. And so I, <laughs> yeah, so I, I contacted you and, and about a, you know, it was the first meeting and we didn't really, it was more of an introductory. And I remember we went, I, had a date with her maybe three four days after that and we hooked up and, and <laughs> it was it was terrible sex uh -huh. and uh but once we started really diving into the, the work and the practices i was incredibly committed because mm -hmm. I, I was pretty desperate you were yeah. committed you were very committed you know, I, nothing like being single again nothing like being sober and um created enough it just it made me very motivated mm -hmm. so I was uh, very committed to the program and, mm -hmm. and I took everything you said to heart and mm -hmm. you said to do this and I do this and you know mm -hmm. this many times a week and mm -hmm. you know, I if, if, if you need me to do it three times a week I did it five yes you did <laughs> <laughs> all right and so what changed as a result of the, your dedication to your own sexual growth gosh I I think about last night. So, so me and my fiance hooked up last night and she had a couple orgasms. So I was incredibly comfortable, but I, I think that the, the, the biggest thing that changed for me is my confidence, mm. um, my confidence in the bedroom. And I was incredibly passive mm. uh, when, when I, before I came in uh, mm -hmm. the program and, and instead of being passive, I, I'm, I'm more aggressive. Mm. I'm, I'm pursuing, and I'm pursuing sexual situations. If I'm, you know, I, I 
I don't hide my agenda. Mm. I'm feeling uh, in the mood. I let it be known, mm-hmm. and and uh, that turns her on. Mm-hmm. So I'm more confident. I'm, you know, I I don't hide my agenda, mm-hmm. and in that that confidence and that that. Um, comfort level in the bedroom really translates into just better sex. Right. I'm imagining that with less anxiety uh, now, you're going to just naturally last longer. Uh, Even though you've been doing the multi-orgasmic lover practices, there's something about comfort in the bedroom that where you just feel more confident and you're like, oh, this isn't a big issue for me anymore. This isn't a big issue, you know, and, and, uh, you know, before I felt like I had to, to, to really dive in and start fucking, you know, mm-hmm. uh, before I got in your program. And there's just a lot more foreplay involved. There's mm-hmm. a lot more just playful mm-hmm. playtime, mm-hmm. you know. And that was another big nugget I took out of your, your program is just, um, I mean, you know, it's just be patient, mm-hmm. have fun, play around. Um, and she loves it. I love it, Mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, so because I'm so much more comfortable, I last so much longer Mm -hmm. and it's, it's not, it's a non-issue now. And, and you know what too is, is getting rid of that shame. There's times where I do come fast right? and it's okay. Yeah. Fuck. (laughs) You know? And so it's funny. So without that shame, I just without that shame or it, it just naturally makes me last longer. Right. And she, if she feels you not collapsing into the pit of shame and right. you're just kind of like laughing about it, you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then, then she's, she doesn't, she doesn't also feel like, Oh God, you know, rah, 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 rah. it doesn't right. go through one of those things. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's times where we want to just fucking fuck quickly and, mm-hmm. and, she wants to get fucked. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and even in those times, sometimes it, I just can't, <laughs> uh-huh. know? she's like, all right, well get off, you know? <laughs> get off me. Uh, it's, <laughs> you know, so it's, you know, right. since I've taken your program, it's just been a complete 180 mm. from what I had before. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So what does your girlfriend think about your, what does your fiance think about your, your sexual ability? Like, how does what she think about you differ from what your wife thought about you? <laughs> I often wonder what she would say to, like, a somebody, uh, like a friend. I think uh-huh. about that all the time. But I, I have no doubt she's incredibly pleased. Mm. She would say that I'm very capable in the, in the bedroom, mm-hmm. and she's very pleased mm. with our sex life. Mm. Great. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell guys who might be considering the program and thinking like, oh, is this for me? Or I don't know. I have doubts. If you have doubts, I think this program is for you. Mm. I, I, I completely believe in the work you do mm. and the passion you have for the topic. Mm. I think you're just in, in general, a, a very passionate guy. Mm. And you genuinely want to help mm-hmm. other men in the bedroom and mm-hmm. feel good. And I wholeheartedly believe in the work you do mm-hmm. uh, and the practices I you had me do mm-hmm. uh, on a daily and weekly basis. Mm-hmm. And without that program, there's no way my sex life would have changed. Mm. Wow. Good. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Sign up. Sign up. <laughs> Cool. Great, Travis. Yeah. Um, thanks for your um, thanks for your review. I appreciate it, and really, it is my life's purpose to help guys become uh, confident in the bedroom, feeling like they've got it, they've got their mojo on, you know. And yeah, it looks like that happened for you. Absolutely, did. Yeah. Thank you.